everyone, this is breaking, breaking news. This is the reveal of Fallout 76, something that caught me completely off guard. This is not Fallout 3 or New Vegas Remastered. This is the new title. I have no idea what's about, but the trailer just dropped. Todd Howard came on screen, talked about how E3 is going to be the big reveal, but they have been teasing us and but they have been hyping us up for this teaser. It is an incredible looking game, whatever it is. It definitely looks like it is using the Fallout 4 engine. Um, I actually heard uh, Ron Perlman, I believe, a very familiar voice. He, it looks like the same newsman as Fallout 4's newsman from the beginning of the game. Of course, it was playing Country Road, West Virginia. This game is probably going to take place in West Virginia. Uh, Bethesda has just, and I mean just, released this. It is very, very cool. And the best conclusion I can come up with is that you are a vault dweller from Vault 76, West Virginia. I don't know, but I am very glad I was by the computer screen because at the time I was about to leave to get some coffee for this actually. So, and there seems to be a ton of attention around this Vault 76. It is a very unique vault. It looks like it is populated much like Vault 81, and we are going to be playing as a vault dweller from there. We have not seen the wasteland in this trailer. We have only seen the vault and some shots from it, and I was definitely caught off guard by this title of Fallout 76 that just did not register with me when I first saw it because whilst I was watching the trailer on Twitch, I saw the notification notification from Bethesda's YouTube saying that this is Fallout 76. Now fortunately we do have some previous information about Fault 76 and the experiment behind it and I will read this short little paragraph right now so you guys can see what this vault has in store for us as vault dwellers. And right now I am sure this is the most viewed Fallout wiki page as we speak. And as I'm reading right now, it says background. The vault tech terminal in the Citadel lists Vault 76 as a control vault with 500 occupants. The vault was designed to open 20 years after a nuclear war and was among the 17 known control vaults, meaning that it was used as a baseline to compare to experimental vaults. It was also mentioned in the Alien Captive Recording Log number 13 recorded by Giles Waltonscroft, a vault tech official who was abducted while inspecting the vault's construction site. In Fallout 4, the newsreader in the prologue mentions Vault 76 debuting in 2076, in honor of America's tier century when discussing vault tech's plans to expand. So in short, guys, this is a vault that was only mentioned twice, and we don't know any current information besides it being a control vault. So this is a very exciting day. I'm glad I saw this and I was not at work because I was having a short panic attack yesterday. But what I really want to hear are the ideas and speculations that you guys have to offer. This is a location that I never would have thought of because I just didn't think of West Virginia or anything like that. A whole lot of us were very fixated on places like New York or even Texas as the next Fallout location, just never thought of West Virginia. Um, I'm more than excited, and I am very, very excited more for E3 to see what else they have in store for us. And I mean, why wouldn't they make another Fallout? Fallout 4 made Bethesda so damn wealthy and they have marketed this game, they have marketed the last Fallout game so well that there was just no reason to not make more Fallouts. And I have a feeling that there are going to be plenty more Fallouts to come because of this. And, and now that the game has been brought into the mainstream, do you think that they are going to take things out, leave things in that were from Fallout 4? I remember Todd Howard talking about the backlash that Fallout 4 got for the voice for protagonist, for example. Do you think this new Vault Dweller, whoever you're going to play, is going to be voiced? Do you think voicing will be optional? Do you think that the karma system will return? I hope it does, because that was a huge mishap, if you ask me, for Fallout 4. 
but i mean god this game looks incredible even though i mean this is obviously uh, the same engine as fallout 4 i really don't care about that but now that we are going to really be getting a brand spanking new fallout game well we're getting a new game it's a whole clean slate i really i'm really excited for this you guys and um and because of this, I'm probably going to replay every Fallout there ever was from beginning to end, even though it is probably not going to be released until perhaps next year. Either way, guys, this was worth the wait, no matter how short. We all knew this was just going to be a teaser with E3 just around the corner. I want to know what you guys think about this Vault 76. What do you think is happening in West Virginia after the bombs? Who are going to be the major faction influences in this game? Let me know in the comments and I will definitely get back on this subject very soon because I have a million questions this video is just my initial reaction and my overview of this fallout 76 man it was it, it was really worth the wait you guys and if you have not checked out the trailer i will link it below this has been atomic wolf and war never changes